Long lines in Chula Vista as a packed DMV included many undocumented immigrants applying for driver's licenses. State officials say the number of DMV appointments more than doubled once undocumented immigrants were allowed to sign up. Local immigration activists say it's a big step in the right direction. We understand that transportation is fundamental to get to work, to go to school, specific basic things that people do every day. Uh, a license, a driver's license is part of the picture. The state expects more than one million applications for those new licenses within the first three years. The DMV even hired more than a thousand new employees to handle the rush. The girl that was helping us was pretty upset because they did not have no hands-on training. It was just they got a packet packet of papers and they had to read them, but they didn't have the experience of what each situation was going to be. Every situation that they've encountered with it has been different, and it's delaying everybody's transaction what you're here for. Even with the new law taking effect, the debate remains over whether or not it's a good thing for California. I'm Hispanic myself and I have families that are, you know, well, we're all Mexicans, but I don't think it's right that they're getting their license if they're not legally in the country. I just think it's a good idea, I guess, to give them a chance, you know, at least maybe it's a start to actually be some kind of legal. Before undocumented immigrants can get behind the wheel, they'll have to pass all the exams and carry insurance. Supporters of the new law say everyone on the road will benefit. This is about safety. This is about safety when you drive to work, when you drive to school. Everyone should be tested. Everyone should pay the fee of a driver's license. So this is for a safer California, for a safer road, for a safer way for everybody, not just specific to immigrant communities.